Hey, what's up you guys? It's your boy Narcal Slot Guy. I am doing a video. I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes from a local mac and cheese place here in uh, the Bay Area. It's called Homeroom and it's located in Oakland, California. Uh, let me show you the book. So this is the mac and cheese cookbook from Homeroom. <clears throat> Homeroom is really good. I've been there a couple of times. It's in Oakland. It's in a nice part of Oakland. And um, if you guys are ever in the Oakland area, make sure to check it out. Uh, we will be making, let's see. <clears throat> so we're going to be making the smoky bacon mac. Um, there's a lot of steps to this. So we already did some of it. We already cooked our bacon right here. And for this recipe, we're adding some chicken which we cooked ahead of time. And uh, right now we're gonna start with our bechamel sauce. So we're gonna record that and then we'll go through the process, okay? But actually, let's before we do the bechamel sauce, let's um, grade all of our cheeses so we can prep our uh, stuff for the mac and cheese. All right guys, so we're gonna prep the uh, cheeses first. Uh, we kind of messed up and we were supposed to get jack cheese and we only got, um, cheddar cheese so um we're gonna do two cups of cheddar cheese instead of one cup of cheddar and one cup of jack so uh cheese is cheese it's not really a big thing for me and i also have a cup of the uh parmesan cheese so i like to buy the block cheese and grate it myself just because it, i think it is a little bit more fresher so we're gonna eat two cups of this guy and I just use a regular grater, cheese grater. So yeah, so you just grade this until you get two cups. We have our Pyrex right here, and that's already set for two cups. And again, we already pre-cooked our bacon. We pre-cooked our chicken. We already have our uh, elbow noodles cooked al dente. So we did all of that prep beforehand. And you also want to preheat your oven to 400 at bake because after you cook everything, you will bake it so that you'll have a nice um, crispy topper. All right, here we go. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is we got to heat the milk over a pot over medium heat until it just starts to bubble, but it's not boiling for three to four minutes and then we're gonna remove it from the heat. So I guess you add all the milk. Do you have a um, wooden spatula? So this is three cups of milk, whole milk. <clears throat> So you always want to stir it just to make sure it doesn't, um, what's, what's it called? Stick. stick to the bottom or? Yeah, stick to the bottom. <clears throat> yeah. So you want to do this until it starts to bubble but it's not boiling. And then once the butter purely melts, then we're going to slowly add our flour which is the milk, the butter, the flour, and salt is basically the, um, the basis of the bechamel. So when it's just melted, you wanna add the flour and then you wanna whisk uh, constantly until the mixture turns light brown. That usually takes about three to four minutes. And then once it becomes light brown, then you can remove it from the heat. And after that, that's when we're gonna add the milk and you're gonna be having to um, whisk a lot. But yeah, if you guys ask my family, I do not cook. I do not cook at all. I'm a baker. I'd rather bake just because it's like more precise. Like the whole tasting and tasting and adding and doing it to taste with uh, cooking, I don't like. Um, I'm more of a scientific guy, like I'm more specific. I'd rather have that kind of recipe so that's why i like baking a lot because it's very precise <clears throat> but 
We've made this so many times that we know if we're messing up. Okay, so this is what it looks like after two cups of milk. You wanna show them? So see, the thickness has gone down quite a bit. And then we'll add the last uh, third cup of milk. So again, this is the bechamel. This is the base for the cheese sauce. So we'll add the last part of the milk. Okay, hold on. Maybe I did, I don't think I did enough. <laughs> Let's do, let me mix it a little bit more here. Cause you don't want it too thin. You guys so this is the consistency you want in your sauce okay and this is before you add the cheese but before you add the cheese you want to add some table salt if you have kosher salt so regular salt, table salt is just one teaspoon if you have kosher you want to do two teaspoons we're gonna add the cheeses uh, my mistake the Parmesan cheese does not go on top it's just the panko so we're just gonna put all the cheeses together so let's put the Put the let's put the half the yellow first the cheddar and then we'll add the parm in replacement of the jack <laughs> not jack daniels but jack, <laughs> jack cheese very funny So we have a lot of bacon, you guys. <laughs> so what we do is we put most of the bacon in and then we'll, we'll top it at the end after. So we'll mix in probably three-fourths, half? Yeah. Okay, we'll do half. Okay, three-fourths. Three-fourths? Okay. Good. Good, good. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's add some bacon. Um, and in this version of it, I uh, wanted to try it with chicken, so we're going to add all the chicken because that's not a topper. So this is the chicken that mom pre-cooked beforehand. How much, how much chicken is this, do you think? Two thighs. Two thighs, okay. Of course, no bones, you guys, just chicken, just the meat. Okay, we'll mix that in. Okay, so then we're gonna add the pasta. Let me go grab the pasta here. Our, our pre sprayed with Pam uh, Pyrex, I think it's 11 by 14, and we're gonna pour all of the mixture in there so that we can bake it for I believe it's 20 minutes. So I like to do it this way. See? And flatten it. Yeah, and then you want to level it, level it out so that everything cooks evenly. So we're gonna add the panko and then we're gonna put the rest of the bacon on top too. So I think I'm gonna put the bacon first and then we'll add the panko. Alright you guys, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. Mom's gonna remove it. Just be careful, it's a little hot. So make sure you turn off your oven, you guys. <laughs> and so this is the finished product here. Chicken, bacon, mac and cheese. Modified recipe from Homeroom mac and cheese based in Oakland, California. I'm going to let it cool off first <laughs> before I take a before I taste it, so let's give it a couple minutes, you guys. Is this hot? <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, the moment of truth. Let's do a taste test. Where's your plate? Uh, I'm just going to take a bite for now. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Oops. All right. Ooh. See how ooey gooey it is? Can you see, see it? See. see it's steaming still? 
Well, that would be too hot there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, you got me? One more time, one more time. Hot. Don't just hot. Okay. Get some chicken. Hopefully you enjoyed this cooking video. <clears throat> if you want to see more, just let me know what you want me to cook and I'll try it. I'll probably do a baking video to show you guys how I make my famous cookies. But this is bomb. Check it out. Um, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when I post these kind of videos. Usually on Fridays is when I post these kind of like non-vlog videos. But if you want to see me go through my journey of sobriety, Every morning between 5 and 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you should see my videos. Be well and take care. Peace.